Hey there, everyone. This is Alcal playing Nine Years of Shadows, and I feel like the percentage really jumped upward wet. Well, I was going to say today is when we are clearly like I feel like crossing the threshold between Act One and Act Two. Act One was getting all the elementary armor. Uh, elemental armors rather and then after we got all that and after we got the last Phoenix upgrade you know lady showed up the ghost and said hey you gotta do a thing and on this map was that little diamond marker that appeared uh, and today we are approaching that and um, something's gonna something we're gonna get like I feel like a, our second goal here I could get up there but that's where I came from Unbelievable. Welcome to an elevator to somewhere. Hi. Uh-huh. Okay, so just hit a lot. Oh! And is that gone? And now it is gone. And I want... Was this lit up? I somehow kind of... I don't know if I noticed... If the golden lights around the door were lit up, because now that might be our goal. Hunting down generators to open up doors, which is a lot more fine keys to open door, but whatever. All these beautiful hallways and windows. Oh yeah, you're not wrong. Now they're just withering. They're full of life, full of crystal, evil, debatably sapient life. <laughs> <laughs> and all the plants are dying. Well, that was a tomato pig. That's not- that's- that was alive. It was- it was having a lot of fun until we made him blow up. Welcome to- yeah, see? Okay. Welcome to here. There are three diamonds. So we are in this quadrant now. Uh, I don't know- I'm looking around, so yeah, like we don't have any- Diamonds and areas we're not at that appear. It's okay. We're gonna save. I guess we're gonna look around and we're gonna do things I know the presence of these diamonds these generators and that's gonna do something and Welcome to here. Welcome to us. Do a bubble jump in the air. I meant to say double But I said bubble instead Talus's core. We're just like right in there. Okay, the core is I thought it'd be more in the middle but you can have a core, that, like it could have built up diagonally. It's fine. So, welcome to this place, looking at the map. Eh. Eh. Yeah, cannot reach that. This is all closed. Feels like we're gonna be running around a lot. And so, okay, so here's a door, here's a clear elevator door, but I press up in front of it and nothing's happening. So we're gonna light up a generator here, you need a blue. The diamond is gone. And one, one key opened up. Got it, okay, cool, great. You have uh, demonstrated what was going on very efficiently. Sweet, fantastic, I am a mermaid and you can't stop me. I'm gonna keep looking over to the side and making sure I'm not missing anything. Yeah, now I got to cycle through four elements, so, you know, switching to the element I want isn't always... Oh. Okay. Isn't always obvious. There we go. We're kind of going around. There's a guy there. Blast him off into cyberspace. You want to get an energy refill? Because that'd be pretty funny. Open up. And, uh, yeah, there we... I missed a side door. Alright, I'll be back. Well, that's what I just opened. I could go there and I could further there. I have options. More importantly, I can see there on the map that I missed a place. Ah, right there. I can see it. Right here. Hey, buddy. Mr. B. Check it out. It's a blue note! Ooh. It just takes one big hit. No, that's, that's not a blue note at all. It's a map. This is this place. Oh, but we'll open the path to th there. Meet from Bob. Okay. I'm guessing that the elevator is gonna lead somewhere. And there's this completely separate area. Is there anything else I should know? Okay, we've got zooms. Let's zoom out. Let's see the whole, this is the whole map surface area. Okay. Like I doubt it's the remaining game. 
Well, no, because there can clear see our door between the top part, the living quarters. But we do have access to all of here now, and that tells us some. Thank you, map. You're useful. <laughs> wow, what a tape. All right, so we'll do the room. Okay, it's a room with water. Before we... Is that water? It's red. Yeah, well, whatever, man. All right, just don't even bother. There's no reason to fight you. You're just kind of a pain, and here's a red note. Oh, feed me the red note. I am need like eight now, so we're not even close. Uh, you know it. Oh, 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 there we go. Like, again. I mean, now that you turn around, I guess I might as well poke you a little bit. Poke. 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 There we go. Accelerating. Alright, gonna open the door already again. That's okay, because this is a very tiny area. Again, just looking around it very quickly. Doesn't seem like I'm missing anything. Fade to black. Fade back to a completely different art style in this little elevator scene. Do YouTube robots love these for thumbnails? I try to keep them buried. Wow, and that was a while ago. Like, you're talking nine years ago before the shadows shadowed. After all this time... These are the thoughts that keep her fighting. At least that's my chosen interpretation. Check it out, I'm here now. Where's where I'm gonna get more diamond? This is the big thing. There's clearly a thing in between, too. Right, we're gonna save again. Saving room is another scene that the YouTube robots love. Typically, I have like one action shot I can choose, and that's sometimes. I mean, the answer to that riddle is to not rely on the YouTube robots, but I want to, it's fun. All right. So, well, someone wondered if fire modes deal is the fact that it might do more damage? Because in the heat rooms, like the, God damn it, the digits double up. But as we can see here, they are not doubling up here, uh, against, uh, here, in the garden. So... Because they're doing double damage would explain what is supposed to be its unique purpose. But I don't think that's it. Alright, we're going to a poison area now. It's pretty good. Just looking here real quick. Didn't miss any doors or anything. I'm gonna want to go down first and do a bunch of things, maybe, maybe, maybe I want to go up and that'll link back though. Well, let's see what I'm allowed to do. Elevator! Sending me upward. Good for you. This is the door we're gonna be opening and I do not have access here yet. But I could go in the... Trying to understand what I'm seeing and I... I think that... Oh, that goes over here. Yeah, here's a gen... Okay, I think we're gonna be... Oh, I can't go there yet. That was silly! <laughs> Going to the light and stiffening the beats! Tell us, you can do it. You're hanging on tight, right? Probably. Alright, so you need to put bombs in places to make bombs explode. Gotta remove all of this from Talus's heart. Oh, he's got all of this. Hey, look at that. By not making things exploded, I got rewarded with the ability to move forward. But yeah, like all his arteries are clogged here. He is going to die of a heart problem if we don't do something about it. Did I make this impossible now? Maybe. I can do this, though. And this. And that's how you get down there. Hey, look at that. I'm down there. Yeah. Turns out there's not all that much choice in things. But that door needs to be open. I cannot fight you, but I can do that to remove the poison. And also, I could have fought you, actually. There's nothing stopping me. Um. Whoa there, buddy! Oh. Gotta... 
Got a vent. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Got a hug. Got to hit the thing. And then we gotta keep fighting. We did it. All right, that opened something up. And then I got freaked out by my spinning guy. Check it out, it's spinning guy. The door is open. I'm gonna boost this. Now it is all lit up and I'm free to go. Crystal door. Is that open yet? It is not open yet. Oh, but wait, there's a top, right? Yeah, there is a top. Sweet. Okay, welcome to what's up here. There's nothing. That is not a door. So my goal is there. Okay, I think I do this by doing this. Then we do that, blow that up, but we don't blow that up because you just go down and whoa, welcome to Cincinnati! That's what it looks like. Surprising, shocking. I'm aware. So that door is available to me now. But like I said, I want to see if I can go up and like close that like return loop up there before going further in. That just seems like a thing I want to do. At least I want to try it. I'm going to tap down. I'm going to look at the animation of Europa keeping healthy. All right, then we're going to fall down here. My favorite part. But that is silly. Wow. Yeah, uh, clearly I didn't do that correctly. Okay, and here I got hurt for real. Oh, this is a place. There's a person that needs to be rescued there. But the door is closed. Oh, but this is here. Okay, that's to get that up. Wow, I cannot play this game occasionally. Okay, get out of here. I'm bird. So yeah, there's a- oh wait a second, there's a green there. That's meaningful. Ah! That's right! I found the way! Oh, look at that! <laughs> look at this guy! <laughs> okay, just on a bunch of skulls. <laughs> Uh-huh. No, it's me. I'm a penguin. It's we. All right, are you going to escape through the heat room? Because <laughs> I don't think it has uh, any vents. I appreciate that his theme just has, like, is completely overwhelmed with the percussions. That's right. I gotta do that. At least he's realistic about what he can, like, do. And he has how many to get? Two, yeah. There's gonna be two bosses, and then something's gonna something. This is how things have been working for centuries now. So, so here's a, here's a valid question, I think. Um, like, would the boss appear had I not spoken to the Quesgaver? Because in that case, like, I'm very happy to have been here. Alright, did I... Yeah, there's no doors or anything missing, but I can shoot that up there and... Whoa, those are spikes. I thought I could... So, I saw the money, and I was like, oh, okay. But, turns out that was not the correct uh, lessons to take. This is gonna lead to a boss, isn't it? I've done a lot. I feel like I should save first. I say, oh, oh eh, eh. I'm gonna go all the way up and I'm gonna save into the Talus entrance zone before I come back here and fight any sort of boss. Did I? Because I have done a few things. I'm, I'm, look, sometimes I can be foolhardy, but like, let's not exaggerate. I'm here now. Whoop. Yeah, so you gotta think about it as just maintain your 
transformation shade. Hey, more lore. More lore of lore of Talus. Kingdoms, Mars, festival of deaths, dawns, and defeats. So much. I don't know. What's the. Kingdoms good, war bad, festival good, deaths bad, dawn good. Okay, so pretty even, even exchange. Anyway, Talus having a great time. Alright. Whoa, ooh, that. None of that went well. Wow. Okay, well, like, I just. I don't want to get bot, but. Uh, okay, here we go. Alright, so like I was saying, here we go. Two of these. Wow, that is a. That, oh. So the thing is, though. Oh, jeez. Just losing everything instantly. So. Um. I'm saying that I'm going to return past this from the save point, huh? Because, like, that's not gonna be an easy path. But, but the, there's just that much worth, I feel, to saving at this point. This is what it boils down to. It's not good. I'm gonna open up this door, and here we are. I recognize this floor. Loading. Ah, and this would have been a good time to get the the heat thing that I went to get last time, but that's fine. Saving in a video game. All right, so I'm not full because I already opened up the door, but you know I guess that's fine. Because yeah, opening the door normally like fills you up. Hey there, skeleton death slime gross. Yeah, you're like rotting away. It's, it's tiny little scary. <laughs> Sweet! Alright, what's your deal? Uh, I should use a version suit that has extra damage. If you're up there, doesn't matter about the length. Yeah, you are very... Whoa, that was really cool, actually. Alright, um, just gonna hug my bear here. Alright, so yeah, you're very... Super Castlevania 4's version of death. A game I just so happen to have played recently. So you are very, very early in my in my brain here. So yeah, you just kinda fill up the screen with like your little stuff everywhere. It's a, it's a good time. This looks super rad. I took Yeah, so I took a health of damage. Um, that's fine. That happens. Alright, so that seems to be sort of the plan here. You let him be, you let him, and then you let him fall on you. And then you get hurt by his little skies. And then just pronounce them in a weird variety of strange ways. Alright, you're doing that. Alright, I want to hit you because that heals my shield. Yeah, see, like, that seems to be, like, the... God damn it. No, 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 no. Get rid of everything. Oh, boy. Uh, I should be safe here. I was not. I would love to have a chance to hug, and I could not. And that's why I saved. Not why I'm so bad. Do I have like quick skip? Doesn't look like it. But there's not like a lot of tech, so it's not good. Whoops. Yeah. So I feel like we just saw the way that fights are balanced with like the game's like incredible healing. It's that once you lose control, uh, it can be hard to regain control. That was a big risk I just did. Because, like, if you're at the spot, the, the part where you're just kind of struggling to just, like, regain control to have a moment for, to save, you know? Is this what I want? Like, I love the extra distance this offers. Oh, well, yeah, you just kind of landed right on me. Alright, I'm just gonna shoot. There we go. Like, I feel like that smart.
Oh boy. Doing that again. Oh, that was probably bad, actually. Whoop. Destroy all the things right into the back thing here. Hug, 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 hug. I don't have the time. Hug, hug, hug. No. Uh, hug, 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 hug. Just barely enough time. <laughs> See, I, it's a little unfor like I understand why this is done, but like I feel like you know there would be battle reasons to use my bar, but because it's like linked to my health, I kind of don't want to. Oh wow, yeah, I'm just not in control here. Like that's what I feel like, just that. Like I just am not in control. That's interesting what you're doing. So like you're dashing, but you actually throw your big sky ahead of you. Whoa. Just destroy everything, it's fine. Is it? No. But we'll say it is. Alright, so this cool move. It is super rad. Like the thing is, it doesn't matter if I barely have any any bars left. Because as long as I have some, I have the hit. Which is that if I have more, uh, I may have more hits. But it's like anywhere like near the end and like not nearly as near the end. But you know, like like about halfway. It's like the same hit. I don't know. I, I think y'all understand what I'm trying to say here. I don't know why I'm trying to say it. All right, well, he's over there. I can destroy some of these little baby sides. There we go. We got a big sword. It's very scary. I'm just gonna do that again. Okay, that seems to be the way to go. Just jump over him. It's kind of like, hey, death, you're doing your best. That's good. And be good at your timing, please. Like, that helps a lot. I th that, that... Acceptance of whatever it's called, I forget. Turns out it's an extremely relevant power. Because the ability to just... Even if it doesn't fill you up entirely... It's the ability to not have to sit there like a fool. Because, turns out, at this stage of the game... Bosses are not keen on letting you just stay there like a fool. Which, you know what? Yeah, I get it. Oh... Like, I might die again here. Come on, okay. I had a lot of foolish time. And now you're dead! Okay! <laughs> that guy... Okay. That guy, okay. These are the words that I'm allowed to say. <sighs> One more boss to kill somewhere on this map. I mean... We don't want to get rid of the concept of death, though. That is a terrible idea. Uh, so what do I do now? I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go in the elevator I unlocked at some point earlier in my session. And basically next, uh, next, oops, I'm up here. Next. Next save point is where we're gonna end. Like, I feel like we kind of did a chunk, actually. There's spikes somewhere? No. Great. Uh, I don't know where I am or why. That is fine. No. Ooh, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, that's a pretty good summary of my thoughts. That's a new door. Hi, new door. What a wonderful adventure you gonna bring me at? Probably the lower part of the map that's like disconnected. If one were to think about it. Whoosh. Oh. I thought it was like a glow on her nose, but I guess head empty. <laughs> we went through we went through her thoughts. She just fought death. She just killed death. Well it might just not it might not it might just be a death like fan though, cosplaying. To be true. There's no save in this area? There's nothing, like, way at the top. But, like, I, I was ready to stop. Alright, there's a save. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna take the other save that's over there, then. 
Because see, up to now, these doors were always right next to the save. This is the exception. Head empty, no thoughts. Okay. Oh! Oh no! Why is saving so weirdly unavailable? Well, I gotta fight death. Great. Great. But why is there not saves anywhere close? Like, why? Ugh, whatever, fine. Alright. There's a save next to this door, right? No, this is the door I need to take. Oh my god, this place. And there's a save. Yeah, it's just that classic situation where... You know, like, I'm ready to end, so I'm hurrying over to a save room, but oops! Because I'm hurrying, I play a little bit sloppily, a little bit lazily, and then I die, that means I got to redo more! A classic trope that I'm not looking forward to revisiting, but is gonna happen.